present value of an annuity this time it is annuity due so we are going to discuss about the present value of an annuity due let's start if we want to estimate the present value of an annuity due let us consider a 3 year annuity like before if we look at the cash flow timeline it it also has a uh, 3 cash flows equal cash flows like before but the difference is uh, the cash flows are shifted back year for 1 year at first we will try to derive a formula to estimate the present value of an annuity due like this so the present value of an annuity of this annuity should be equal to the present value of all the cash flows all the cash flows in year 0 that means the total present value should be calculated in year 0 that means now okay so let us look at individual cash flows of the annuity the first cash flow is already in year 0 so we do not have to uh, do any calculation but still uh, we can say mathematically that we have to discount the first cash flow for 0 years about the second cash flow because it is 1 year away from now so we have to discount it for 1 year so the present value of the second cash flow will be cash flow uh, will be cf over 1 plus r to the power 1 and the third cash flow although it is third but it is in year 2 so it will be discounted for 2 years and the discounted value will be cf over 1 plus r to the power 2 so the total present value of this annuity due must be the sum of these three present values which is in equation form can be written which can be written in equation form like this cf over 1 plus r square plus cf over 1 plus r to the power 1 plus cf over 1 plus r to the power 0 now we what we can do is we can take a common factor cf over 1 plus r and also 1 plus r actually here we are trying to use a little trick so that we can get the similar series like uh, like what we have got in case of um, getting the formula of present value of an ordinary annuity okay so uh, you can see that this series is the same Uh, that we have got for an ordinary annuity so using the formula of the um, sum of the geometric series for this portion okay we get uh, the expression becomes cf over 1 plus r and this 1 plus r these are already uh, from the previous expression and this part becomes 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r to the power 3 over 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r after that we do the same type of simplification keeping this 1 plus r here we get uh, cf over 1 plus r times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r to the power 3 over r over 1 plus r times 1 plus r okay so i'm not i'm not going to uh, tell you all the terms again because uh, we have already done the same thing for ordinary annuity okay so following the similar procedure at the end of the uh, simplification uh, the formula that we get for 3 year annuity due is cf times 1 plus r to the power 3 minus 1 over r to the r times 1 plus r to the power 3 times 1 plus r so you can see that this part is actually the present value of an ordinary annuity and we have this portion extra 1 plus r if you multiply 1 plus r with the present value of ordinary annuity then you get the present value of an annuity due so to get the generalized formula we can replace this 3 by n okay so what we do is we just replace this 3 by n and we get the generalized formula for present value of annuity due for n of any years Okay, so ultimately the formula is CF times one plus R to the power n minus one over R times one plus R to the power n times one plus R. 
to apply this formula let us look at an example you want to withdraw $1000 at the beginning of every year for 30 years from an account that promises to pay interest at 12% per year for that purpose you will deposit a single lump sum amount today how much must you deposit today you can see that this problem is actually uh, the similar um, to the problem we we have uh, shown for uh, for as an example of present value of ordinary annuity so we have the withdrawal of 1000 every year for 30 years and also the interest rate is 12 percent the question is how much must you deposit today only difference is the withdrawals will be at the beginning of year instead of end of year this is why this is ordinary uh, this is not ordinary annuity this is the annuity due if we look at the cash flow timeline illustrating this situation uh, we can see that we have one thousand dollars of withdrawals every uh, at the beginning of every year for 30 years okay and the we have to find the present value at this point so we do not have to uh, we do not have to calculate the present value of each and every one thousand dollar withdrawal uh, rather what we will have to do we will have to apply the formula whether it is an annuity or not okay so in this case uh, you can see that this is annuity because we have equal uh, amount of withdrawal every year okay and also is it an annuity due of course yes because our cash withdrawals will be at the beginning of every year okay and the, uh, and the last thing we must check is how many years of annuity to get the value of n okay so even though the cash flow last cash flow is in year 29 but but our annuity is actually for 30 years why because this 1000 is actually the withdrawal of the 30th year the reason why it is showing in 29 is we are withdrawing at the beginning of the 30th year after after being sure that this is the annuity due and also uh, after getting the information about all the inputs like the equal cash flow cf equals 1000 the interest rate or discount rate is r is equals to 12 percent or in decimal form 0 0.12 and also after knowing that the value of n is 30 then we have no problem in applying the formula of the present value of the annuity due so the present value of an n year annuity due is cf times 1 plus r to the power n minus 1 over r, ti r times 1 plus r to the power n times 1 plus r okay so if we uh, apply this formula for this situation okay then we get this um, uh, we, we get 1000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 30 minus 1 over 0 0.12 times 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 30 times 1 plus 0 0.12 after doing this calculation then we get that the present value of the 30 year annuity due is 9021.81 dollar sometimes if you know the present value of the ordinary annuity of this of similar problem then you can easily calculate the present value of the annuity due why because you know that the present value of ordinary annuity has the formula of formula which is equal to this portion of the present value of annuity due formula okay so if you know the result that is equal to this part of the formula so if you just multiply uh, multiply that result with 1 plus 0 0.12 then you also get the same result for example in our present value of ordinary annuity uh, annuity problem our present value of ordinary annuity was eight eight thousand fifty five point something dollar okay so if you multiply one plus zero point one two with that then you get nine thousand twenty one point eighty one eight one okay so i i hope that you have understood the uh, calculation of present value of annuity due and not only that you have also understood why the formula of present value of an annuity due is uh, is like this and i hope that you can apply uh, these concepts 
for solving finance problems especially for valuing future cash flows if you have any question please use the discussion sections section to um, to post your questions so that i can answer thank you very much for attending this lecture i hope to see you again in my another lecture